What's going on guys? Welcome back. My hair is <laughs> Yo, my hair is all over the place. My hair out here looking like um uh, what's that um <laughs> that, I don't even remember the reference, but the hair not looking spiffy at all. Um actually just wash my hair and everything. So it's just is out of place but it, you know what i'm saying the growth is looking good it looks fresh though you know what i'm saying but anyways we're here to watch vinland saga so um episode three man um it has been quite a week for me um you know so just to let you guys know i've been having a bit of a back problem um went to see the doctor wasn't um thank god it's not anything serious you know thank god it wasn't anything serious um you know i'm able to sit for a little bit <laughs> you know what i'm saying so for that time that i can sit a little bit <laughs> right i am going to try to get at least a couple of reactions done um for that little bit um actually not supposed to be sitting up but for those times i'm going to try because i've decided to from everything that i'm doing i'm taking all the time um, that I need to recover so that by this weekend, I'll be able to um, jump full force back into action. So um, so this week, definitely probably will see some more reactions more than more than anything else. But other than that, hey, just want to let you guys know that soon, very soon that I will be transitioning over to a new um, a new channel, which is going to be just for anime okay um anime doesn't do so well on this channel that i have here it's mostly tv series i think most of the subscribers that are here want to see me do more tv series they don't re they're not really interested in watching the anime stuff if i should show you the numbers for anime <laughs> i mean you could go look back at the two first episodes i did of this series and you will see what i'm saying like they're not even catching 100 views you know what i'm saying and you know, my, my measure of success is not very high when it comes on to, to YouTube, at least for me, my measure of success. So if I get a hundred views on a video, I'm happy. I'm, I'm good. Cause I, I know that's my average for any show pretty much. I don't know that, you know, I don't know what to do. I guess you guys want to see me jump up out of my seat every two seconds. <laughs> I guess that's the kind of reactions that you know people more grasp onto these days and stuff like that i don't know if my energy is too low i don't know what it is man but i'm gonna keep being me that's the only thing that i can do i can't force myself to act like i'm strung out on coffee all the time okay and caffeine <laughs> i can't force that so at the end of the day yes we're going to be moving over sooner or later i'm not sure when um exactly but definitely we might even get through this season of vinland saga before i even transition over but just wanted to make you guys aware so if you you know happen to see mid-season i make an announcement telling you guys that the anime channel is ready because i have to get the graphics done and everything done for that channel it's not gonna be just some i just throw it out there you know what i mean um so in any case Let's jump into the reaction. You already know what to do, man. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys right after for the review. うん。あや、俺はわかるよ、若様。17歳ってのは微妙だよね。大人でもなく<笑><笑> お前らでも働く時があんのか見たことねえぞ、キツネ 
いや本当この村は平和すぎて退屈ですわ腕がなまってねえか試してやる<笑>私らこれで旦那に食わせてもらってる客人ですから。わおわおわおかさまは、かたぎしゅうがわかのことを半人前扱いするのが許せないと言いたいわけだ。お前らもだろえー、わかさま。一人前になるのなんて、そんなに難しくないんですよ。<笑>殺しの経験ですよ。人を殺すっていうのはね、すごく自信がつくんですよ。やっと the rest of your life。男はみんな、そうやって大人になるんす。初心者には初心者用の獲物ってのがありますよ。ちゃんと。Or maybe this is just how the Danes were. 殺してもいい人間っていうのがさ。Oh, really now?Damn, <笑> having a nightmare? <笑>どんな夢見りゃそんなにうなされんだよ。なんだろう思い出せない。Probably around the same age, right? About seventeen. いやもう小高を洗ったところでどうにもねりゃしませんのでまあそんなこと素敵なお顔だと思いますよなんだろう胸が騒ぐ何か忘れてはいけないそんな夢だったような気がするえ旦那様のご息女様いや、yeah, so、いいえ違うんですよ私はあなたと同じ奴隷です。そんなさあ、あひよさい、maybe she is a slave。トルフィンとエイナル。ちょっと、顔かせや。Oh, set these two up to get killed. And t h o r f i n is going to pop off on this dude. Like, I, I'm hoping he does. さあ、若様、ズバーッと行ってみよう、ズバーッと。わかさまが大人になるための儀式だ。死んでくれ。How about you open your eyes? 冗談じゃねえ。何の罪があって、俺たちがそんな目に遭わなきゃならないんだよ。罪なんかねえよ。正当な持ち主が自分のものをどうしようと勝手だろう。お前らは、誰にしよう。オルマルサマンチの奴隷だ。ものじゃない。切ったら、弁償しなきゃいけない。あきられますよ。ご用は一人いれば足りるでしょう。そいつは仕事に戻してください。私が切られます。聞いたか、諸君。たまーにいるんだよね。こういうやつ。<笑>なあ、トルフィン君。俺たち戦士の扱う商品って、なんだと思う。No, but I'm sure you're gonna tell me。死だ。you sell death。Okay. So, what is it? It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good t h i t a g o t h i n
ほうまばたきもしねえか大したもんだなんで死ぬのを怖がらなくちゃいけないんですか It's inevitable So why even fear it? 死にたくないから生きてるんですか生きてると And y'all forgot that Thorfinn is a, he's a true Dane, bruh. <laughs> Deeper than that, but. Not a single good thing has happened to me in my entire life. Oh my god, really? He cut his ear off? Oh, it's their boss. Oh, you fear death. Oof. Damn. Okay. Anaguma. And now, said me. Okay. Snake looks like a character I'm gonna like. For real. This episode was one of those. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely one of those where you can see the character development for our MC here, Thorfinn, because he has gotten to this point. I don't know if anything is going to like bring him out of. I'm guessing that there's something going to bring him out of this where he's going to want to fight again. He's going to want to fight to live, you know, in the literal sense again. Right. Because right now he doesn't see any meaning to life. Everybody that has meant something to him has either been killed. I mean, it's just. The, the way how they're structuring these episodes, right? The way how they're structuring the beginning of this. And I'm glad that they're taking their time. I'm loving this because they're taking their time to introduce the new characters and also fleshing out Thorfinn's character as well. Showing us the aftermath of what happened. You know, when Askeled died. You know what I'm saying? How he felt about that. And... Everything that transpired before him losing his dad, you know, like everything he has, he has had time to process that now. And he's in not, he's in like that, um, you know, you go to what five stages of grief and sometimes you're in that place where you feel like your life don't even matter anymore. You know, if you listen to what he said, if you hear you know what he was saying in that scene right where he's essentially saying that you know what i'm saying is is like um i'm going back to see here um you know you know why do we have to fear death you know it's like why do we why do we have to fear that you know it doesn't matter you know does anything good come from being alive you know, all my life, you know, nothing good has ever happened to me. You know what I'm saying? It's like nothing, not a single good thing has happened to me in my entire life, which I beg to differ because we've seen him since he was a kid growing up. I mean, he lost his dad when he was very, very young, but I wouldn't, um, you know, and sometimes bad things happen to us in life and it kind of overshadows the good things. And trust me, if I had, even for me, if I had stayed in the place that I was probably like 10, 15 years ago, I probably wouldn't be sitting here making videos, you know, reacting to stuff today. I probably would be dead. I've had, I've been in a very dark place in my life where I had suicidal thoughts and all of this other stuff, like just, just, just being there. And a lot of this stuff, like if it wasn't for me, just looking at the good things that I had in life rather than concentrating on the bad things that happened to me in life. I wouldn't be here today. I promise you, because when you, when you, um, when you're, when your happiness is contingent, contingent upon 
you know, whether good or bad things happen to you in life, right? You're never pretty much on either side, right? If good things always happen to you, more than likely you're going to be more happy. But you can also be happy when bad things are happening to you as well. If you have an optimistic out view of life, you know what I'm saying? I mean, not out view, I'm talking about out view, outlook on life, right? So it's a weird thing to see Thorfinn in this position because he was just a firecracker in season one. And to see him so docile now, you know what I'm saying? Just standing there, taking those hits taking those those cuts the dude even cut off one of his ear you know what i'm saying so it's just one of those things man where i look at this and it's just amazing it's just amazing to see how they're structuring these episodes and kind of fleshing out these characters and i feel like the respect factor is gonna factor in at some point and i think that's where um, snake came in and saw and all of them have these animal names for some reason you know and te technically you know when he came in and he saw what was happening i guess this, those are just code names not their real names right he came in saw what thorfinn was doing just you know what i'm saying saying those things you can see not only can you see the expression, the deadness of what he's saying, it's like him himself is alive, but he's he's dead inside. You know what I'm saying? And I think maybe he is consciously trying to forget things, or maybe he has forget things, forgot things that have happened to a certain point you know what i'm saying you can be so traumatized by an event you don't even remember exactly why it happened and then when it comes back to memory it can be you know you get traumatized all over again and it, it you know what i'm saying just just scare you so had a nightmare in the beginning of the episode of course anar is the type of person i said i said i wish you had this energy when when uh, when you're you, it was his sister and his mother I think it was his sister and his mother, right? I wish you had this type of energy, bro. Like, where was this energy? But you know, he's 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 changed since then. He's definitely changed since then. He's ready to to throw down. You know what I'm saying? Um, too little, too late. <laughs> but at the same time, I still respect that he just threw himself at Omar, though. He just he just went in there and was like, "Yo, Thorfi, get out of here, bro." You know what I'm saying? Go tell the master what's happening here. Um, uh, but the thing about it is that Thorfinn, <sighs> Thorfinn is like, took a deep breath. It's like, man, is, is this the time where I sacrifice myself and just get killed? You know what I mean? So it's just, what, what a series, bro. What a series. I know I'm going to enjoy this season because I love, I love when, when, when shows, TV shows are anime. I love when they do stuff like this when they take time to flesh out characters because one of the things that anime doesn't do anymore and that's the reason why if you're just watching certain anime for just a pure spectacle then call it for what it is do not say like animes like demon slayer has deep stories because they don't they don't it's all about the fighting you know what i'm saying and listen i'm not knocking those because i enjoy them as well i'm just saying i love these this genre of anime a lot better just the reason why i say attack on titan i love attack on titan love it way more than i would like a demon slayer even though demon slayer is absolutely amazing animation wise you know what i'm saying like the spectacle is awesome the lessons that you learn from that anime as well it's the same shonen stuff anime tropes of course um there's that kind of deepness to it but when it comes down to like vinland saga like attack on titan like they go a little bit deeper in the writing and they will take their time to tell you a story and give you those okie dokes as well if you will so i enjoy it a lot so thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man 
It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. I will see you guys next week. Peace.